check, check. Gravity cannot wait. Loading the weight of your room. Whenever you walk in the room, I still balloon with the healing love. If your happiness wanders off again, my darling. Find it always, always when you lay your head down on my butterflies. The days that it's we with you, love, your head hanging like a chandelier wearing the weight of the world on the wings of your giant heart no, doubts a raging bull crash them through my arms and watch them melt away when you Butterflies, when you lay your head down on my butterflies, oh my butterflies. How's that for you guys? Okay, good. Can we quickly do just like that? Or wait, I guess we have time in between to try my Yeah. Live, more live, yeah. Okay. You have okay. the ability to add a little bit of fake reverb. Yeah. Um, did we test the did we test the stream? Yeah. Are we happy? Okay, the we're happy. The stream is going. I'm happy with it. Um, uh, Chris, do you want to keep this mic so it's nice and what tall? And I'll take this one. I just want one mic that's uh, what about the, the guy at the, the radio station? I want one mic that's my height. Wait, I want to stand next to Mike on the mic. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, I should, I should double. Oh, yeah. Mike Celia in the house. Yeah, you can just play us in then. <laughs> What if it burns up the battery? <laughs> Dr. White, Dr. White, report to surgery, please. <laughs> Three minutes till surgery. So, what's the point? What are we doing? We're, we're uh, so, we'll do a little.
it, so we'll chat a little bit. Yeah. Um, Chris? Don't you want to do one on your own? You want me to do one on yeah. Your own? Uh, Come on. You came all the way from Toronto. You got to do one song. If, if you have one. I mean, if it's easy. Got, like, yeah. You have a, like a standard one that you just want to do, like without even thinking about it. Yeah. I have a couple of those. Like I can do them probably in my sleep. You know what I mean? I just totally. have sung them so many times. Oh. Say that. No, 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 that's the wrong thing to say. Yeah. You have to do another song. It's, it's, it's not like that, girl. Could you post it underneath Yeah, and, and we're live on YouTube right now. Hey, everybody, we're live on YouTube. All right, wherever that, where's that camera? <laughs> Hi. We're just waiting for a signal from the studio to go live. Uh, we still have a whole couple of minutes left. Yeah. So, yeah. so how about Ray and so that we can get all of them? Here, I'll try not to fall off the back. Chris White, you'll do the land acknowledgement. Of course you will. Thanks for being here. Thanks a lot. You can see how much fun we're having. There we're is popcorn, I just want to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when the movie is screened, when Andrea's movie is screened at 12.30 here, her movie, that documentary that she made, there will be other items available in the snack bar over there, too. Uh, that's what I heard. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward also to. also coffee across the street. Yeah, in many establishments nearby. I'll just mention, uh, tell me when we're on the air, okay? <laughs> I dreamed up a festival called Moose Fest, I'm telling everybody, so I'm telling you guys. What's Moose Fest? Musicians in old Ottawa South establishments. See? And I looked it up. Moosefest.ca was available for $1.99 for the first year on the domain registries. So Dave O'Hare gave me a toonie. He said, get the domain. <laughs> so anyway, I'll pay him back. Okay, here we are. We are at the Mayfair Theatre at Bank and Sunnyside, 1074 Bank Street. Hey, everybody, come on down. I'm Chris White. This is Canadian Spaces on CKCU. And we have here today for this show, not one, not two, not three, but four Canadian Spaces hosts. More hosts than audience. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, right now we're outnumbering the audience, which is why we need you to come down. And there's popcorn here, too. Well, tell them that. 
Oh, 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 don't. Peter okay, Lund. here, Ray, Ray, get up close to a mic here. Ray Harris. Yeah. We should create the illusion that there are you know, hundreds of people here. <laughs> Actually, there are tons of people yeah, here. Yeah. So uh, Ray Harris is here. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> And Ray, you're going to be not only hosting today, but also performing at a certain point. That's, That's the rumor. Cool. Yeah. Ray. And uh, hot off his show last night called Friday Night Truck Stop on CKCU. That was a good show. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thanks for yeah, listening. I, I, I was listening. There was a song on there that said, uh, what was it? I can't be myself when I'm with you. That was a fantastic. Yeah. That, uh, oh, anyway. yes. Uh, Katie Moffat. And then okay. The, I'll be going back and listening to that again in the On Demand section of CKCU. Okay, Carolyn Sutherland. Hey, hi. Hey, Chris. You're a CKCU host, a yes. Canadian Spaces host. Yes, I get to host with Chris once a month. And what Canadian motivates Spaces. you to do that, Carolyn? Uh, things like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just getting to talk to musicians uh, who I love and, and uh, getting the music out there. And of course, working with you, Chris. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. And Anne-Marie Brueger. Come on, say a few words to the Space Cadet. Good morning, Space Cadets. <clears throat> welcome, welcome to CKCU FM 93.1 here in Ottawa. Make sure you check out the website, ckcufm.com, and tell us where you're listening from. There is a, a place, you click on the playlist, there's an interactive page there, and we can uh, respond possibly in our spare time. We have enough hosts here today, I think we'll be able to respond. Um, and uh, yeah, leave us uh, some comments. Tell us how much you're enjoying the show and where you're listening from. We are here live from the Mayfair. We've got a great show lined up. Chris, good, good work on you. Very briefly, we will be starting off with Mike Celia, followed by, uh, yes, okay, let's do that. We've got Jem. Uh, I don't know Jem. I look forward to seeing Jem. Katrina Sturton, who I love, and I haven't seen in a long time, so I look forward to having a chat with Katrina today. Christine Graves, our very own Christine Graves. And of course, Andrea Romolo is here, and uh, kind of like the reason why we're all here, Andrea, is because your film is uh, going to play today at 12.30, right? And so we'll be talking about that. We're ending the show with Ray Harris. And we'll be having a, a few chats in between, uh, talking about the Ottawa Grassroots Festival, and uh, we'll be talking to Susan Sweeney Herman and Doug Hendry about some very interesting uh, projects that they have. So yeah. yeah, should we give a round of applause to all the people who are helping us out today? That includes Gareth Audenhole. Thanks for being here, Gareth. Nathaniel Newton, of course, our, our whiz who is making uh, this possible, the live broadcast Birthday possible. it is today. Oh, Birthday. all right. We'll give you the bumps later there, Nathaniel. <laughs> Carol Muskeluk, thank you very much for uh, synchronizing the broadcast with the person who is in the studio all alone, someone called Griffin. Thank you, Griffin, for doing that for us. Is Shelly Ann uh, coming in as well? Shelly Ann, thank Oh, there you are, Shelly. Thank you. And uh, everyone, of course, at the Mayfair Theatre, come on down and join us today. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're getting started here on Canadian Spaces. We'll be here till noon Eastern time. And check out our website for the YouTube link if you want to yeah. see our happy faces yeah. and uh, okay. uh, the full theater. The YouTube link is <laughs> is posted. Yeah, on if the you want station. to watch this show, Nathaniel is streaming it live to YouTube to the Canadian to the CKCU YouTube channel. So, or go to the playlist on the CKCU site and click on the link. Either way, you can watch this show, and what fun that would be. And I always, uh, I'm. I try to be sure to remind us all that we're on Algonquin land here. We are. This is, I mean, that's just the four words that sums it up. This is Algonquin land, period. So, and what I try to do is say, okay, and therefore, what does that mean for me and how do I conduct myself considering I'm somebody else's land? So there we go, Canadian Spaces. What fun. Come on, one more round of applause before we get into some music here. David Celia, you drove Michael it. Celia in the is, building. Is your brother. <laughs> and, uh, 
Nice recovery. David Celia <laughs> is your brother, Mike. And, uh, and you're bo you both play music a lot. Like, yeah. You're playing a lot of music. You, you released a song recently? Yep, Did just you? released uh, my second single yeah. in 10 years. Well, exactly, and, 10 and years. And so you came up from Toronto with Andrea Romolo sure and Jem yesterday. Played a concert last night. <laughs> You're here at the Mayfair now. How do you like Ottawa on this trip? On this trip? <laughs> <laughs> now I have to come up with something specific to this. <laughs> or in general. For the past 12 hours. I'm talking about the, uh, I'm talking about the community, yeah. not the federal government kind of Ottawa. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like people say Ottawa, but no, I'm talking about the people of Ottawa. Yeah, and I always places. enjoy. I always enjoy my time in Ottawa. Good coffee, good food, and lots of good friends. So good. it's always lovely to run into good folks. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> good answer. A <laughs> good answer. All the uh, goods. My, Mike, you mentioned to me that you've uh, these two songs are the precursor to a new album. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, it was was an album that I recorded over the pandemic. And it's a Factor-funded album. i got to get that in there. I've got to remember Thank sometimes. Thank you, Factor. Thank you, Factor. Uh, what a joy. I was um, working together with my partner in this album, Kevin Howley. Some of these songs were co-written by Scarlett Flynn. Kevin and Scarlett um, have a duo called Wolfville. Truly a wonderful group of humans to connect with to make music. And we made a record. It's sort of a down-tempo ethereal, emo, R&B, I don't know them. I'm learning, mm. constantly learning new ways in which I can describe the songs. Mm. But I would love to hear your yummy. feedback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> would you play us a song? I would love to. Okay. Just and before he does that though, we, we've been remiss because you can't start off Canadian Spaces without saying, pour yourself a cup of your favorite hot brown drink and settle in for, in this case, two hours of just great, amazing music in, here at the Mayfair. Way to go. The incantation has been said. And uh, tell us who's coming up to sing with you. This is Jim. He's going to come up and sing some harms with me. Gravity cannot hold me. I'm floating away to join the moon. Whenever you are. Still balloon with the helium love If your happiness wanders off again My darling, you'll find it always, always when Butterflies Today's at its way with you, love Your head hanging like a chandelier Bearing the weight of the world And all the rooms of your giant heart Your doubts raging bold Come crash them through my arms and watch them melt away when you, when you lay your head down on my butterflies, oh my butterflies. Oh my 
my butterflies lay your head down on my butterflies when you lay your head down on my butterflies oh my butterflies Jim. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Beautiful vocals from Jim, bringing all the love. Hey, Mike, yeah. how did you first get into music? <laughs> it was a talent show. Yeah? Yeah, it was eighth grade talent show. And I did, what I don't did have, you sing? <laughs> I didn't sing. I, I, I was watching. There were two guys in my school who brought these loud electric guitars to this talent show and they were just blasting. And I went to a Catholic school and everything was very conservative. So I remember hearing loud electric rock and roll guitars blasting through the halls. And, and the only thing louder than the guitars was, uh, and it's a little embarrassing to say, but it's the truth. I was a young man and there were a lot of young girls screaming. <laughs> ah, was that inspiring? That was inspiring <laughs> for a young prepubescent boy. <laughs> So I, uh, I went home, and my brother David, who uh, got the first introduction today. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That actually happens all the time. Uh, he was, you know, already playing guitar, so I asked him, could you teach me some guitar? And he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me how to find a printout of all the guitar chords that he had printed in the library, one year, and I learned from there, and then we kind of back and forth, and then fast forward some years later, mm. I started writing, and here I am today. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> you like don't that. have to answer that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a great story. Don't Thank you. Don't get me in trouble, Karen. <laughs> well, uh, please, please play us another song. Sure. Yeah, okay. Well, that last song I did was called Butterflies, and it's the recent single I just dropped. Dropped yesterday, and oh, I'm going to play so for you beautiful. a song called Love Come Save Me, which is the first single off this album. Thank you, Carolyn. Tell me not broken, I'm just blowing off some steam. I'm tired and I'm reckless, my own worst enemy and fading. Oh, I'm fading into blue love is for the truth. I've got nothing to lose, love, come save me now, love, come save me from myself. Save me from myself. 
So much. Mike Celia. Yes, sir. Whoa. Good job, what, sir. What beautiful music on a Saturday morning. Fantastic. Mike Celia. Right on. All right. We have a couple of guests here. You're going to come up. Susan Sweeney Herman and Doug Hendry are here in the house to tell us about something that's happening tonight. Right, Susan? Yes, sir. We have a concert at the West What's Pro going Masonic on? Hall. What's happening tonight? At what time? Eight, uh, probably. Eight o'clock yeah. tonight at the West Farm Sonic Hall on Byron Avenue. And uh, it's a, a double bill with Acacia Lyra Harp Duo and the acoustic trio Tripoli, who are very popular from Kempville. And I've been wanting to join forces with them for some time. We, we were adding up the total number of strings in this <laughs> ensemble. It's a big number, right? A big number. I can't Doug, count. how many? I, I can't count that high. There's no <laughs> you, you play a citern, is that right? Yeah, citern so and what the 12 is strings. So what citern is a 10 string, like a, an Irish bazooki. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, then I also the 12 play a 12 string. And so that's 22 just yeah. alone. Yeah. <laughs> Get our uh, fingers and toes out here. <laughs> yeah, and then the cello, the violin, and then two 36s. So two 36 yeah. harp strings. Wow. So like 600, I don't know what it, I, I failed, failed math, but a lot. And we're calling it strength in numbers. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I love a good pun. <laughs> and that's, a, that's an excellent pun. <laughs> so, right, yeah. All right. So h how can people uh, see this uh, amazing show? This amazing show, yes. Um, <clears throat> well, there are tickets still available online for another couple of hours uh, through Eventbrite. Uh, but uh, there will be some tickets at the door, but those will be cash only. So we haven't got one of those little machines yet. Perfect. And where exactly is this again? It's 430 Byron Avenue North at uh, Churchill, or sorry, Churchill Avenue at Byron um, in Westboro. Lots of parking. Westboro Masonic Hall, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good, good. Well, thank you. And uh, head on down to that show and uh, yeah. spirit of your yeah. Rasputin's lives. Indeed. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> no, wait. Okay, what, wait. What? No. Here, let, let me just ask, though, because I have been curious. Acacia Lyra, that's the harp duo you've been in with. With, yes. uh, with Tommy, Janelle, Jan Janine, Jan Janine, Janine, Janine Dudding and, and I myself. That. Okay. Yeah. So, what does Acacia Lyra mean, and how did it get oh, started? Oh, well. And I've <coughs> seen you lugging those harps up the stairs yes. many times, up and down the stairs to open mics and things like Which that. Which is you're why we didn't bring them this morning. You're dedicated. On the day of a concert. What is Acacia Lyra? Acacia Lyra. Well, Lyra is uh, the old word for harp. Acacia is where I used to live uh, years ago, and that was the, <coughs> my home housed our inspiration and our practice sessions, so... Oh, yeah. Acacia Avenue. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, okay. yeah, yeah. And we've Doug. been a duo for we've been a duo for twelve years now. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Doug Hendry, mm -hmm. you've been in a bunch of different ensembles, uh, and yes. you are and have been, but specifically Tripoli. How do you describe it? T R I P O L Y. Correct. Yeah, Tripoli. Uh, it, we do a mixture of. Um, folk uh, music from around the world, and uh, also our own strange arrangements of, uh, of popular music. Uh, and we've been going since 2019, but that was a, a for, uh, our, our forerunner was uh, Fiddlehead Soup, which was a kind of yeah. world folk yeah, uh, group. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, I went way before that was odd one out, but that was, uh, that was back in the distant days when we were all young, so. Odd one out, I remember that too. Mm -hmm. so, so who's in the Acacia Lyra, or um, in Tripoli in now? Tripoli, uh, Glenna Hunter uh, yeah. plays cello, violin, and sings, and Elizabeth McNally uh, sings, and uh, sometimes plays hurdy-gurdy, and, uh, uh. and uh, <laughs> Doesn't uh, everyone? Nickel Harpa, so, but not tonight. Uh, we're, we'll just be doing vocals. But uh, yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth has one of these voices that uh, you just think, oh man, am I in the 60s again? This is just like uh, steel eye span. I, I, it's one of those folk voices that's just, it's, yeah. it's wonderful, so yeah. yeah. It's true. Okay, thanks so much. That concert tonight, go to rasputins.org yeah. and get all the information. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. thanks a lot. So um, here, we'll, we'll just uh, do a little bit of shuffling on stage here, but I'm pretty sure that Mike Celia is gonna come back up here and I'm pretty sure that Jim is going to come up here. Are you going to do a song? Yeah. Well, do we want well, that to happen, everybody? Welcome to the stage, gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, we do. So, Ray, isn't this fun? This is amazing. And uh, last week we were at Irene's. That's right. And we're getting out in the community, you know, putting yeah. faces to the, uh, the voices. Yeah. And I'm telling everybody, and come on, everybody, it's time to start getting excited. In the middle of November, CKC will be entering year 50. What? 50. Year 50, <laughs> the excitement is building and justifiably so. It's an amazing achievement by a whole bunch of people in this community, almost all of them volunteers for a 50 year period. Come on, that's amazing. Yeah, right? like hundreds of people over the years, and, but Canadian Spaces for how many years of that 50? Well, Chopper started Canadian Spaces in September 1980, so if yeah. I could do the math, let's just say it's a long time. Yeah. Lots of years, yeah. <laughs> I think we, we counted ourselves out here with that string thing a few minutes ago, so we're all mathed that, out. That's enough math for one morning. Okay, but, so hey, Jim, hey. We, we had a chance to hear you playing that grand piano out at the Unitarian building last night, accompanying Andrea Ramola, and that was spectacular. Did you enjoy hey. that piano, man? Oh, it's a good day when I get to play a Stein way. <laughs> That's right, and it was, it was all in tune, and it was sounding good. That, that was such a nice show last night. Thank you. Thank you yeah, so much. Way to go. And we did get to hear some of your singing, and we're going to hear some more now. Yes, you will. What are we going to hear? Jam. So that's, uh, by the way, G3M, right? Yes, J3M. That's me. J3M. Yeah. J3 J3 is there a story behind that? Um, yeah, all good things come in threes. Ah. Me, Mike, and Andrea. Yay! Yeah. Good answer. So I'm going to be performing uh, my single that's coming out on April 26th. Um, it's called Get Your Things Together. Um, and it's just sort of like setting boundaries and telling people, you know, that have toxic energy to get out of your life. Ah, okay, okay. So here we go. Jam, everybody. Let's hear it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wondering why I stayed stuck holding on, wasting my time. Patience is all gone, baby, don't lie. I know I'm not your number one. I know I'm not your number one. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fool, but I'm foolish with my love. You broke the rules. Now I gotta call it off. No need to be rude. Said I know what's going on. Oh yeah, I know what's going on. Uh -huh. Conflicted and confused. And baby, I refuse to let you get the best of me. Yeah, you can't expect me to wait forever. It's time you got your things together. Always got a new excuse. Hurry up, you have to choose. It's time you got your things together. Well, you know these boys, they're always running their mouths. They're always trying to run your heart out of gas. But guess what? I got a couple words to say. And I'm going to preach them real loud. I hope you're listening. And they go a little something like this. Ready? Open your mouth. You had so much to say. 
You're bringing me down I'm kicking you out Time to send you on your way Your way Send you on your way uh -huh. Conflicted and confused And baby I refuse To let you get the best of me Ooh. You can't expect me to wait forever It's time you got your things together Always got a new excuse Hurry up, you have to choose It's time you got your things together Let's keep it honest, babe I'm not standing on the sidelines For your love no, no, I'm sitting reminiscing about a new beginning. Believe me when I say you won't catch me waiting on you. You, Ooh. hey, come on, hey, you always got a new excuse. Hurry up, you have to choose. It's time you got your things together Hey, said you can't expect me No, you can't expect me Said you can't expect me to wait forever Always got a new excuse Hurry up, you have to choose It's time you got your things together Thank you Wow, Jim, nice. Hello. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you about the, the musical origin question also? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. How did you get into it? Or tell us an early story about sure. you, you and music. Was so, it a battle of the bands and chicks? So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my piano journey began when my parents bought me a little red toy piano when I was two years old. And I just would not let it out of my sight. I loved it. I still have it to this day. And I started taking lessons when I was four. Um, and then as for singing, it was exactly the same story as Mike. <laughs> Talent show, grade, I think it was 11 or 12. And the screaming was very appealing. You know, Battle of the Bands can take credit in many schools for getting mm -hmm. people excited about music. Because that's, I, I mean, beyond the whole Mike. Uh, point <laughs> no no but Mike's making the point of the the thrill that we get when something transmits through us and the reaction comes back and I think that's for me that's the point of these early stories definitely that's what Mike meant that's what Mike exactly meant. <laughs> <laughs> Mike would like to do a revisionist <laughs> version of his story now um, he's taking it back <laughs> no I think Mike kind of nailed it really for many of us um, so, Jim, uh, tell us about your next song. Oh, so <laughs> I would love to do another song. However, I am only going to do one so that this one can permeate in your minds and you can remember it forever and ever. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you have to promise to come back. Oh, I would yeah, love please. You're based to in come Toronto, back. right, Jim? Yes. So. I'm actually born here, though. Oh. Yes. You're okay. from Ottawa? So I'm here? from Ottawa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Was your uh, Battle of the Bands I at an Ottawa high school? So it was actually at a private Adventist high school uh, oh. in Oshawa, Ontario called Kingsway College. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But started in Ottawa. Started okay. in Ottawa. Uh, went to that school at 16. So I did grade 11 and 12 there. I come from a very religious Adventist family. Okay, very cool. And uh, actually, just before we let you go, Gemma, I just want to comment. You are an amazing keyboard player. We didn't get to showcase that today. Thank you. I but, appreciate uh, that. Is that. Is that your first instrument, basically? So that's my first instrument. Yeah. I got into singing like a little bit later. I actually sang with the Viva Boys Choir here in Ottawa when I was, I think, maybe 11. I joined, and then I sang in my church choir, Divine Connection, uh, for many years. And then solo singing started like high school, like university. Oh. Okay, well, thanks for bringing that here yeah, to the Mayfair Theater. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Very
Canadian spaces. Come on down, everybody, if, especially if you're in the neighborhood, in Old Ottawa South, uh, or anywhere nearby, or even if you're not, come on down. It's just so much fun. And uh, stick around. You can watch Andrea Romolo's film at 12.30 here at the Mayfair. All these good things to do. So uh, we're going to continue on here with Katrina Sturton, who just happens to be in town. So that's a really good thing. And uh, maybe just in the meantime, I'll let you know about a few things that are coming up. For example, you just heard about that concert tonight. The Spirit of Rasputin's organization is putting on at the Masonic Hall on Byron a on Churchill Avenue. So go to rasputins.org and get connected with strength in numbers, <laughs> as they're calling themselves. All those strings. Maura Volante, she was on the show last week and sang a few beautiful a cappella traditional songs. And a reminder that her six week singing course called Folk and Fine Company is taking place at Alcorn Music, also known as Gig Space, starting this Monday, April the 8th, and running to May 13th. That's a really excellent thing to do. So if you know Maura Volante, contact her and sign up. And if you don't know her, email her, maura.volante at gmail.com. Great. And That's Marie amazing. Brugger, what, do you want to read an announcement or something? Have you got something? I do have an announcement. I'll save it for a little bit later because oh. I see Katrina's getting ready, or does she need more time? <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little bit about so, Katrina. She'd tell you herself, but she's tuning I, her guitar. I so love Katrina. Wanna, yeah. I, I have not seen you in quite a few years, Katrina, but she uh, has uh, come through. She has hopped the fence on CHUO many times <laughs> back in the day when, uh, when I was hosting. That was your show on CHUO, yeah, Hop the Fence, until yeah. you hop the fence in, over to CKCU. That's right. That's pretty much what happened, because <laughs> here I am in CKCU, which is fine. We, we love, we're very fortunate in Ottawa to have two uh, community uh, campus community radio stations yeah. and so we are sister stations and we yeah. get along oh, we sure. get along pretty well as yeah, sisters we you know we punch each other out every once in a while but you know not too much, not too much. <laughs> you all get along well with your siblings <laughs> don't you we <laughs> everybody do. And so, uh, if you don't know Katrina, she's uh, very uh, unique, and uh, we we like to say quirky, but you know, uh, you you're more than quirky. You're highly talented. Uh, one woman band. She can play. Uh, let me see the harmonica, the uh, guitar, the um, banjo, all all these things, and violin. often violin. and violin often at the same time, which is the fun thing. And now today it's looking like uh, 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 Katrina has a um, harmonica and uh, her guitar. And uh, one of the fun, there are a couple things you don't know about Katrina. One I will save for later, but uh, one of them many people should know about it is uh, her big claim to fame is her big hit about um, butt dialing, uh, which we've all done at least once in our lives. And it's called <laughs> Calling From My Pants. So that was always a really fun song. I do remember that. Now, Katrina, last time I saw you, you had this beautiful lime green uh, electric guitar. I hope you yeah. still own it. I do. Actually, um, Kate uh, from Aiken and Beggs is doing some inlay on it right now. If you don't know her, say so she's good. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember nice. her Instagram handle, but her work is beautiful. Kate Greenland. Kate Greenland. She has a Tuesday night show in, in Wakefield every week, okay. the Folk Collusion. But she's very multi-talented, so she has my guitar right now. It's Wonderful. in good hands. So it's going to look even better next time we it see will, it. It right? will, yeah. So um, what you been doing all this time? <laughs> um, I Yeah, what a funny few years. Well, I actually got a Facebook memory that six years ago today I was on your show. Oh. Or that was my memory that came up. I have that's a little amazing. picture of it here on my oh, phone. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've been... Um, I've been trying to learn audio engineering oh, lately, nice. which is taking okay. up a lot of my brain. I just did a tour in South Carolina with one of my favorite songwriters, Darby Wilcox. All right. And we got to play with some great musicians there. Um, and I met up with my old band from Japan from 20 years ago. Wow. And in the meeting, like, it just we were just hanging out for fun, but we conceived of a reunion tour next January. Oh, <laughs> so I love it. I yeah, love it. one of the members is coming back to to uh, New York to do like a dance. Uh, she's part of a dance troupe in Tokyo. Okay. Oh, so wow. yeah, but I make it somewhere interesting than it is. I've, just, I've been doing a lot of trying to study and learn. And You're so worldly now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's all grown up. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Good adult. Getting there, getting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell us uh, 
Tell us what uh, you're going to play. Have you got like new material or new releases? Or? I actually am, I am so excited. I've been slow to record for a lot of years, but I made a record. It's a three song, 12 inch record. And I'm doing a release of it on April 20th at the Record Center. Oh. And it's really exciting because it's on a jazz label from New York City. I'm not a jazz artist, but I got to collaborate with some amazing jazz artists. And the label's called JMI Recordings and they're a really cool wow. label. They, it, everything they do is analog. It's okay. all analog recording, all analog uh, affair. Um, so the song I'm gonna play is a song by my friend Sam Parker. And um, we met through an Instagram algorithm years ago when I was <laughs> too shy to live stream it. And, Yay, uh, algorithms, yeah. a success for once. <laughs> but I really like this song. I like thinking like, you know, everyone's got different varying levels of feeling overwhelmed at various times. And so whether it's us or our friends, Sometimes we don't know what to do with ourselves or others, and this is the idea that sometimes just sitting with someone or being, you know, taking mm. a walk with someone can be, we don't have to always know the right thing to say or do. So. That sounds amazing, yeah. and I'd like to take a moment to dedicate that to a friend of mine who's listening from Montreal, and her name is Gordana. I think she's going to enjoy that song. This is for you, Gordana. <laughs> When you're all alone and you're feeling blue and the world has turned its back on you, take a walk, take a walk with me. When you're feeling low and you're feeling down and no friends can be found, take a walk, take a walk with me. We'll just walk together like birds of a feather. Take a walk, take a walk with me. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah, me too. It's yeah. a really, it's a fun song to play, and Sam's—he's such a lovely person, like a really calm, sweet presence. Nice. Uh, I don't know if anyone from the network is listening, but he's also the president of this network of artists. And okay, shout out to Sam Parker, musician. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, shout out from CKCU ninety-three point one FM right here in Ottawa. We are broadcasting live from the Mayfair Theatre. You should come on down and get yourself some popcorn and, uh, and watch us and, and be part of this community. We love being out in the community. We're really glad that you can be with us too, Katrina. One, one little secret that's not so secret, but I don't know if everyone realizes that you, uh, you have a connection with Dolly Parton. Oh, that <coughs> that's true. Well, she, yeah. she was a huge songwriting hero of mine growing up. Um, but I actually got to work for her organization for six years. Wow. And she mails out free books to children from when they're born until they turn five. And she's mailed out 
hundreds of millions of books. Incredible. Yeah, like so. she's really a giver. Like she, she's not, uh, she's a great performer and amazing songwriter and uh, really is a philanthropist, I suppose, or? She is, she's so smart and she's so funny, but she's incredibly community minded. Yeah. So just like what you were talking about, just having everyone here together today and mm -hmm. doing things together. Yeah, she's, an, she's I, I think she's definitely an angel on earth. We need more yeah. angels on earth. Yeah. Don't, don't you agree with all, all the mayhem that's going on? Yes. <laughs> Katrina Sturton, everyone, you're going to play another song. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, I wrote this song uh, during the pandemic. I was uh, live streaming a lot and hanging out in my mother's basement a lot. And um, I didn't, I, I wrote a lot of songs at the time, but this song, I guess it, it kind of changed my life a little bit because it connect, this song connected me with this record label that I got to record with. Um, but I like, I, I carried around an idea for a long time. There's one of my favorite songwriters in this area is Enid. She's a beautiful, yeah, yeah. yeah interpreter of Joni Mitchell's music. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she once said this idea to me and it really helped me at a time when I was kind of struggling with it. I think, you know, whether it's in like friendships or romantic relationships or in families, we have these moments where we feel really connected yeah. with someone else and that's such a good feeling. But, you know, we can't always stay in that state forever, you know life happens or things are, you know, also our own anxieties. Maybe we pull away, maybe they pull away. And that can feel disoriented when we've had this really strong connection. And she was saying to me one time, it's such a simple idea, but it really shifted things for me. She's like, you know, just like in nature, like things open and close and open again and close again, you know, the wave, the tides come in and the tides come out. And I had always thought I wanted to write a song around that idea and I wasn't quite sure how, but during the pandemic, at one point, I was talking to a friend and I was saying, you know, trying to explain this idea, you know, it's, it's like in nature, the, the flowers, you know, at the end of the day, they close up, they're going to open the next day. And with a really simple thing, my friend said to me, well, what about the evening primrose? And I hadn't thought about all these flowers that open up at nighttime. Um, and I know, like, if you're, you know, driving in a car or, like, at a campfire when the, or maybe next, this coming week during the day when the moon goes over the sun. I think people, there's something about it becoming dark that people do open up a little bit, you know, and share and open their hearts. So this song is called We Bloom at Night. Katrina Sturton, everyone. Just see your face by the glow of this screen. And not many people have seen what you've seen. You heard me laugh, and you were there when I cried. again we get scared and fight 
That was lovely. I, you know, I, I always hear about evening primrose without realizing that they bloom at night. So I've just learned something today, which yeah, is good. Yeah, me too. It was new for me to find out. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Thank you so much. And, and you know, I wish you all the best. And as you move forward and mark your calendars, April 20 at the Record Center. During the day or evening? Yeah, or? it's during the day at three, uh, from 3 to 4 o'clock. And you're going to be there autographing the albums, I'm yes. sure. Yeah, and it's yeah. also record store day, so there'll be lots of cool. Oh, it's going to be cool packed. Yeah. That's going to be great. Amazing. Thanks so much. Do we have time for another song or no? Or yes? Chris is the boss here. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not around all that often, so what, have you got something else? I could do something else, sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay, come on, let's hear it for Katrina Sturgeon. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, when you're looking for Katrina online, it's C A T R I O N A. Katrina. Yeah. Kind of Katrina. Right? There's an O in there, just to make it easier to search. Yeah. So <laughs> that was smart of your parents to put that O in there yeah. to make you unique online. Except okay. in Ireland, then there's a whole lot of. Oh, us. there's lots of them. Yeah. In, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what are you thinking, Katrina? Katrina was in a. Katrina was in an amazing all-female rock band in the early days called Plum Tree that yes. toured across Canada and, and ended up um, being featured. What's the name of that film? Oh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Scott World. Scott Pilgrim and the music. And they became an underground cult hit, these guys. And so you learned how to play the bass so you could be in the band, right? I did, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I was thinking... <laughs> I know, I gave myself a, a big, a big I did, really didn't know what I was doing, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but you found out along the way, right? Yeah. Um, nice. I could play Calling for My Pants if people want to hear Oh, yeah, that yes. was mentioned. Yes. Okay, that was mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Let's Speaking do that. of underground cult hits, here we go. <laughs> Katrina Sturgeon. I'm too drunk to dial, too wrecked to text, but my pants have got your number. You know what comes next? Speed dial, being a while, this ain't romance. I'm just calling from my pants. Cause my pants are made for talking, but they like to get tight. Called you by mistake when I was walking tonight and something hit a button and my pants started singing, calling you up. Can you hear your phone ring? And I'm calling from my pants, calling from my pants. I don't want to talk with you. I just want to dance in my hands. It's not again in my heart. It's not a chance. I'm just calling from my pants. I like hearing some little claps and cheers. There's maybe people on either side of the pants calling a line here. My pants don't 
call to say they love you, they just want to twist and shout in my pants, uncomplicated. But know what it's about, a little fun, a little healing. Want to thank you for this feeling, won't you whisper down the line? Makes me want to shout, I'm calling from my pants, calling from my pants. I don't want to talk with you, I just want to dance in my head. Says not again, and my heart says not a chance. I'm just calling from my pants, I long. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's been super fun. Katrina, yes, sir. Give her another round of applause. Ray Harris, we're having so much fun, are we not? We are, and I, I yeah. now have coffee as well. I went across the street to uh, dessert first, and uh, I, I had a cookie while I was waiting. Dessert first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the name of the place, and a good philosophy as well. Exactly, yeah. Eat it's dessert. A, Life is uncertain, eat dessert first. You've heard that, right? And cookies so, are the breakfast of champions, yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, Ray, we're looking good, if I do say so. We're on YouTube. Hey, everybody, yeah. go to the CKCU YouTube channel. You can see me and Ray. Yeah. We're sporting our Uncle Bob shirts here. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> Uncle Sertorial Bob. Splendor. Yeah, yeah, if you know about him. Yeah. Hey, he's Bob, the he's probably listening. mayor of Ottawa. Yeah, he that? is, and he's probably listening right now, too. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And uh, thanks to all of you that are listening, texting in on, uh, on the w website, on the Canadian Spaces page, and telling us what's up and where you're listening from. That's a good thing. And uh, see, Greg Kelly messaged me. Oh. And asked me to. Hey, Greg. Yeah, hey, Greg, if you're listening. Uh, Greg Kelly runs a great songwriter series every Saturday afternoon out of Moose McGuire's. Yeah. And it was Tunes Afternoon. And who's so the featured artist today down there? Is Ingrid McDonald. Okay. Is today. And okay. That's, uh, that's this afternoon. Then next Saturday, I am the featured artist. Oh, okay. So yeah. Ray Harris, next Saturday afternoon at Tunes Afternoon. Yeah, a little yeah. shameless self-plug there, but I'll be performing with uh, Steve Donnelly on bass. And, uh, nice. Nice. And, nice. Oh, my God. I just blanked on my other... My and someone else. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So look who's on Dana stage. Dana Aerosmith. Thank you. On fiddle, Dana Aerosmith. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Look who's on stage here now at the Mayfair. This is fantastic. Hey, everybody, this is Alison Bowie. And what does Alison do? <laughs> By day, she's an unassuming Ottawa resident. By night or weekends, what? The producer of the Ottawa Grassroots Festival that's coming yes. up at the end of this month. Hello, yes, very hey, glad Allison. to be here. Hi. April 25th to 28th. Yes. In a couple of different venues. We have two venues this year, uh, Irene's once again on Thursday and Sunday, and we're moving to the First Unitarian, um, First Unitarian yeah. Congregation of Ottawa. <laughs> yeah, out near Richmond <laughs> for, Road. And for the, Road. yeah, for the Friday and Saturday. That's a nice room. I got married there. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Okay, Ray Harris got married there. Yeah. Andrea Romolo and the band played ah, there last night. I hear night. great things about it. I, it. I didn't even know about it until we kind of had a scheduling conflict. With their These, this band walked in there last night and they said, oh my God, what a beautiful building. We don't even have to play any music. It's just bringing people in to see the building. That's great, so. right? <laughs> I might sing. You know, so that's a nice place. And so Grassroots will be in that building on Friday and Saturday, yes. April 27th, 28th. The 27th and 28th. Yeah. And all, day, all daytime events are free as usual. So all Saturday at First Unitarian and all Sunday at Irene. So please come out. We, we hope to see as many people as possible possible this year. 12th, 12th? Ottawa Grassroots Festival. 12th, yes. This is the 12th, 12th year. edition, oh, isn't yeah. it? That's yes. really something. Yes. That, it would be the amazing. 13th, but we had to miss a year. We took <laughs> so a year yeah. off. We took we a year took off. A year off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, Alison Bowie, what are you excited about this year at the Ottawa Grassroots Festival? In particular, uh, everything's exciting, but... Oh, well, yeah. We've, well, I, I do have to say that Thursday night, um, we have Lynn Miles and the Tumbleweeds. Unfortunately, it's sold out already. <laughs> yeah. so, so, But that's exciting. Um, it works. I'm excited about everything. I uh, mean, just an amazing group of uh, performers, and it's going to be just, it's just incredible. Yeah, and a big team effort. Oh, a huge team that's effort. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't even think, we don't have volunteers, we don't call them volunteers because we're all volunteers. We just, it's just OGF team. There's so many people involved in this behind the scenes and a lot of people are here as well. Um, so yeah, the OGF team has been working hard. <laughs> With two, okay, two things, Allison. First of all, Katrina Sturdan very kindly gave me a harmonica, a <laughs> brand new harmonica. I'm giving this to you. Here oh, we go. thank I'm giving you. giving you that harmonica. 
I'm it's, so excited. <laughs> see, aren't you happy? I was we were talking on the phone, and I was so excited. I was like, I love harmonicas, but I don't have one. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> now you have it. your very own harmonica. Yay. Uh, I have three weeks to practice. Yeah, it's so. Nathaniel's <laughs> birthday, but you get the present. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Happy birthday, Nathaniel. <laughs> so the other thing is, Allison, wouldn't it be nice if we had one of the performers involved in the festival, if they could be here and play a song or two right now? Wouldn't that be good? It would be amazing, because there are somebody so I many talented. Who we could find. Yes. Let's look. Oh, there's <laughs> one. Oh, that's Christine Graves. Christine Graves, <laughs> go on. Come Woo. on up, Christine. <laughs> and she's, she brought a very funky electric guitar. Yes. We'll get her set up here somehow, somewhere. Somehow, somewhere. I just need a key. Uh, see, where's our sound, uh, our sound professional? Gareth? Okay, Christine's getting set up, so Ray and I are going to read a couple more announcements yeah. for you, but yeah. things coming up, aren't we, Ray? Exactly. Yes, and, we are. And that, uh, you know, that Unitarian Church has, oh, here it is. they have a Steinway, folks, they have a Steinway. Yeah. There's a ch piano here. I, I realize that we should have got this piano over here going. It's no Steinway, but we should have done that. Yeah, we yeah. could have tried that. Okay, look at this. Christine oh is involved in something okay. herself coming up here. All right, I'm going to read this. Yeah, let's. Okay, so <laughs> join Christine Graves as she hosts Stephen Palmer and Phil Jenkins for a special evening of her series, Lucky Songs, which is a great songwriter series. I've had the honor and pleasure of being part of that and uh, witnessed a whole bunch of these. It's all original songs and stories, and it's in Ottawa's most intimate listening room, which Me is called Meow, Meow That's, That's Hot. Hot. Did you say it together? One, <laughs> Meow, Meow That's, That's Hot. Hot. <laughs> yeah. It's located at 519 Bank Street, uh, just past the Queensway, and it's a great little spot, and uh, there's also a weekly uh, songwriter uh, open stage there as well. So Tuesday nights? Exactly. It starts at 8. I've also had the pleasure of hosting that on several occasions as well. Tickets for Christine's event are $20 at the door and on Eventbrite. And, and that date again is? That is April 19th, so Friday, Friday, April 19th, so that's coming up soon. Mark it down, everybody. 7.30 p.m. Stephen Palmer, and we Phil imported him from the West at a that's certain right. point, mm -hmm. and uh, now he's ours. And then uh, you know, Wakefield legend, Phil Jenkins. Phil Jenkins, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, that's a show not to be missed. And what's important to some people is there's a full service bar available. <laughs> and snacks are, and, uh, are available too. But uh, meow, that's hot. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and let's talk about this event. Actually, I got a note from Sue from Sue Rogers. Uh, Mark and Sue Rogers run the Bytown Ukulele Group. Oh yes, it's called Bug. See, Bytown <laughs> Ukulele Group. They've been I love getting, a good acronym. Yeah. See, there we go. <laughs> and they've been getting together for a long time now. And they keep outgrowing the venues because sometimes 60, 70 people show up and play their ukuleles. 70 ukuleles. And now, wow. now they're congregating at Redbird, which is a fantastic venue in Old Ottawa South, where we are right now, the Mayfair Theatre. Okay, so at... Um, but this particular show coming up is not at Redbird, it's at Club Saw on Monday, April 15th, 7 p.m., featuring James Hill and Ann Janelle. And if you know those, either of them, they're incredible performers. They're performing under the name, yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> it's got a new album out. Champagne Weather is what the Champagne project is Weather, called. Champagne Weather, they're calling yeah. the, their duo. And it's described as cello, violin, and ukulele sparkle like a field of stars, grounded by the rumble of lo-fi synth. <laughs> See, Ooh. you don't, you don't get that every day. Okay, that's Friday, April nineteenth, no, seven thirty. No, no, that's Monday, no, April fifteenth. No, sorry, 15th. Monday, April fifteenth at Club Saw. Do you know where that is? That's yeah. an arts court. Mm. Great venue. Right down in behind the uh, Rideau Center there. And you can go to uh, ChampagneWeather.com. dot com. Yeah, and good uh, thing to do. Actually, they have an amazing video. You, if you go and watch that seventy five second video at ChampagneWeather.com, dot com, you'll go to this concert for sure. Because it further says here, oh yeah, it further says here, like Appalachian fiddle, a maritime folk song, uh, but also uh, sounds of Philip Glass, and you know, it's yeah, it sounds pretty damn it's, cool. It's pretty special, and uh, if you knew James Hill when he was uh, first rising up and being recognized as one of the best ukulele players in the world, mm. yeah, and uh, where did I meet him? I went in on Canadian Spaces one day, and there was this kid from he was living in BC at the time, mm. and this kid was brought in his ukulele, and I thought. Really? <laughs> and Chopper was there, and I just sat there, and I, I was just astonished at what I heard that morning. Because back then, ukuleles weren't cool yet. No, that's the yeah. thing. See, he was right on the crest of the wave, and, and he was aware of it, actually. 
And you said there were 70 ukuleles in one time at the room? At, at yeah. The, wow. Oh, fuck. That's like an infestation. So. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey, look. Hey. There's Christine a raid Graves for that here. A type of raid. Christine, I, I have a like. photo of you performing at the Ottawa Folk Festival on, on uh, Victoria Island in 1994 oh, yeah. with some other members of Writer's Block. I remember. I'm sure you remember that, right? I do, it was a yeah. windy day. <laughs> I, lo I loved that day. It was the, really the first time I'd spent significant time on Victoria Island. So just the discovery of the whole story and the, the space there, the amazing Magical location. place. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So Did you put you it on the World Wide Web yet, this, photo, this said photo? Because I, I was young then. You're welcome to put that one up on internet. You're in the photo. Tony Turner's in the yeah. photo. Jennifer Knoxon. Jennifer Knoxon. Lee is Hayes. In that. On the point there at, at uh, on Victoria Island with the wind blowing. Okay, yeah. so that's not an acoustic. I know. Here we <laughs> are door. talking about the Grassroots Festival, and I bring out a hollow body electric. But uh, <laughs> Molly Blast. I'm playing. I'm playing this tonight, uh, opening for lives like skyscrapers at Meow, and uh, amazing ensemble that's just emerging. Um, Brent Smith's in the audience and he plays banjo. Uh, there's synth and the, the main songwriter, uh, he's just brilliant, very, very outside the box. Um, anyway, the show's sold out, so I should stop talking about that because... Um, you're, you're dangling a carrot. Yeah, I'm that. dangling a carrot, but for next time, next time you see ads for lives like skyscrapers, you should definitely grab, grab tickets. And I think you are, you're all tuned up and plugged so. in. And yeah. The technical expertise uh, we, on staff here has got everything, got you all going and everything. Good. <laughs> We've got this. What you gonna do for us? Um, I'll do a, I'll do a morning coffee song, uh, sitting on the edge of Lake Ontario, uh, observing all the trumpeter swans, <clears throat> which are much prettier to look at than to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, Christine Graves. Well, this is Reckless Daughter. Contemplates endless skies, finds how to pray before she dies. She earns her words will be heard, humbly seeking to return as a bird. Oh, 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 oh. She needs to learn to love helps her through the night, helps her rise above. She wants to spread her wings like a songbird, open up and sing. Daughter, 
he agrees to lead the way takes her by the hand each time she goes astray Christine Graves. Thank you. Christine, you have such an enchanting voice. I've loved your voice for many enchanting. years. Enchanting. Yeah. Note adjective for bio. Yeah. <laughs> I'll even put my name under that one. Um, <laughs> um, and we're kind of collecting music origin stories today. Do you, do you have a story to add about music origin? Which aspect of music, like, like uh, uh, humanities you, or my personal? Yeah, you, you and okay. music the and first, kind of early. The first song? Or early, just start, yeah. early startup in music? Yeah, it was in church and, uh, you know, music is really the best part of church. It's probably what keeps <laughs> people there at all. Yeah. <laughs> and I would make up songs about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, the lyrics, to go with the hymns. That's my first memory of nice. songwriting. I was yeah. three. And you've just been singing ever since, I think. I guess, I guess so, yeah. I took some recorder, you know, uh, on long way, piano. Um, yeah, the singing, I guess I was singing in high school, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Um, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for your gifts. And uh, will you grace us with another song? I, I certainly will. I, I do want to plug a gig that Please. Um, is in a bigger venue that's a little more challenging to get that sold out, you know, across your social media. Um, Redbird Live? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Best music. I shouldn't say best on radio, but a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful listening music venue in Ottawa. Just, Yay. if you haven't been there yet, head over. Yes, and I took... I took the risk of, of, you know, getting myself slated in there and bringing in a full band. And it's this Thursday, so you don't have oh. any plans. If you don't have your Danielle Lanois tickets yet, you know <laughs> you're coming to Christine Graves. And uh, we, had, um, we had an amazing songwriter that I know isn't super well known named Steve Judd. He was booked, so you'll see links for his music, but unfortunately, for a vocal reason, he had to bow out uh, last night. But John Carroll is going to come and open Ooh, very nice. uh, a short set by John and then one set by the band. So I've got Peter Van Olten, who I've never played with. Um, mm. I'm kind of nervous because he's a superstar. He's so great. Great guy, wonderful guy. Fred Guignon, Michael Ball on bass, and Libby Hortop on vocals. So it's a big group for, you know. What's uh, that word when you have like the super band? What's that word? What's that word? Super band. You're, you're, you're <laughs> Christine Graves, Ottawa super band. Yeah, you know, I just thought I would take the, take oh the chance. And That's uh, a lot of great musicians. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a lovely evening. Hopefully you can join us because we, we, we love playing for people in the room. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's an amazing room. It supports the venue. It supports all these musicians. And uh, it supports your soul. So it does. do come if Thursday the 11th you have uh, availability. It starts at 8. Good fall. All right. Well, play for us. Okay. I loved hearing Katrina. I I um I love the breadth of her songs, um, from the poignant to the irreverent um, and cheeky. And uh, um, I'm just gonna do one that's a little more cheeky for you as well. And it's uh, short, so I'm not sure who's up next or what's happening after me. But um, this song was written, I guess, at the tail end of the pandemic. Um, um, and so it, it references a whole bunch of things about myself, <laughs> um, uh, including uh, a tendency to overindulge or imbibe. That's in the first part of the song. And then the rest of it is about getting used to being um, an adult and being on my own, alone, 
which is not necessarily a sad thing. This is a positive thing uh, in the context of, of growing up, finally, in this decade that I'm in. So. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Cause I've never had self-control over my whims. Once everything starts darkening, I'll take shelter in fifths of gin that can get grim. Until the sun's rolling past my window wide Clouds roll on by, it's windy outside The weather may change and it's never too late I'm not lonely, I have great wealth I have I, I have myself there's no time to waste, cause it's never too late. There's time to shine the light in the dark. See the state of all our hearts and then sweep up the mess. That's how the light gets in. Nobody's fool but my own. I have I all alone it's love or it's hate but it's never too late what up what up what that what wouldn't do the dip way what a do they do do did it and they do there's time to shine this light in the dark see the state of all our hearts we sweep up the mess that's how the light gets in I'm nobody's fool but my own oops ah uh, I have I Lover, it's hay. The weather may change. There's no time to waste. It's never too late. It's never too late. <laughs> All right. Christine Graves. Oh, Thank yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming Woo! out this morning without coffee. Christine, and you can sing so early in the morning. That's <laughs> awesome. So everyone, this Thursday night at Redbird Live, Christine Graves and her super band. We are looking forward yeah, to that. Christine, I knew that show was coming up, but I didn't know it was coming up so quickly. So this Thursday, Redbird. If you've been there, you definitely want to go back. And if you haven't been there, you're going to love it. Everybody does. Fantastic place to see a show. And yeah, here. I thought I'd uh, just say a little bit more about the Ottawa Grassroots Festival, which Allison talked about earlier. Um, so amazing, and it's coming up at the end of April, April 25th to 27th. But um, just uh, if I'm repeating what Allison said, pardon me, but it's so awesome. Uh, the Thursday night, the Lynn Miles show, which is sold out. Friday, Charlie Acourt from the East Coast. Love Charlie Acourt. Saturday, Connie Caldor with Jessica Pearson and the East Wind opening, like so great. And I'm just gonna read a few names that are bouncing out at me here. Here, um, Albert Dumont is going to be there and uh, the Bytown Sea Shanty Collective, Katrina <laughs> and Christine, Ed Lawrence, Ed Lawrence. star of uh, the CBC Gardening Show, apparently the most popular show on CBC. <laughs> When we brought him to the Ottawa Folk Festival one time at Britannia Park, it caused a, a mob sensation. scene. Yeah, he's, yeah, really, he's at uh, 11 in the morning. He brings his own security, I've heard. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and um, 
James Stevens, Jody Benjamin, and Michael Ball, Likey Ron, Miss McLeod, some of the people who you've heard about today. Incredible. And there are things like a baby and toddler music class, um, and then fiddle lessons with James Stevens, two step dance lessons. It's just a really amazing, amazing show. And I believe all the daytime performances and workshops are free, That's and good. the evening shows are ticketed. So um, Ottawa Grassroots Festival, it, Really, really reminds me of the old Ottawa Folk Festival, Chris. Yeah. Right? And uh, for those that know the Just history, saying. it actually came out of the Folk Festival directly. So, yeah, it does make sense. That's that way. really lovely. Hey, um, Gareth, if you have a second, our, uh, our fantastic sound guy this morning, Gareth Audenhold. Yay, Thank you Gareth. so much for everything. And also he's, known uh, as Jack Pine. He's in the festival, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. he is in, in the festival as Jack Pine. And... Uh, he is going to come up and just tell us about a show that's coming up on Friday with some beautiful people from yeah, Toronto. Sorry, no notice, Jack Pine. Hello. <laughs> it's at the Art House Cafe on Somerset near Bronson. It's Bronx. at the Art House Cafe next Friday it's night. Like, yeah, Friday, uh, 8 p.m., was it? Yeah, I think I so, something it? like that. Um, uh, if you get there at 8 p.m., if, if, if you're early, you can have a, a coffee, I guess, or a, a beer, I think. They serve beer there. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Kristen Lindell, a wonderful singer-songwriter. You know her, Andrea Romolo. You yeah. know Kristen, because she also lives in Toronto. And her and musical partner, life partner... Jesse Whiteley. Is Jesse Whiteley, Jesse Whiteley oh, hello. The famous Whiteley by... Yeah. <laughs> Whiteley in the house. What, is, what does that Wait, mean? Wait, someone's Allison? making guitar <laughs> motions at us. <laughs> Allison Bowie is playing air guitar in the audience here at the Mayfair. Gareth will be playing. Oh yeah, yeah we yeah, said yes, yes. Good? Gareth will yeah. be playing. And for my own part, yeah, I'll be yeah, playing yeah. at the Grassroots Festival. I also Absolutely. do the main stage sound there and have been for many years. Mm -hmm. I hope to see you all at the festival yeah. and to chat with you and maybe we'll share a tea or a beer there also. Um, and Christine, can, is Christine still here? No. Christine Graves is around, yeah. I may or may not be playing a Christine Graves event at some point in the future. Yes, oh, okay. in May, is in May. What event is that? The, uh, the singers, the song circle thing. Lucky Songs. Lucky Songs, it's called Lucky Songs. What's the date, Christine? <laughs> <laughs> May 17th or June 7th? It's so May 17th look up, or look June up 7th. Lucky songs. I believe it's May 17th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's May 17th with uh, Johnny Eaton, another amazing singer-songwriter yeah. from Ottawa. I'd say look up Lucky I Songs produced. Ottawa, yeah. correct? Lucky Songs yeah, Ottawa. Gareth, let's, uh, let's mention idea. one more thing just before you take off and Andrea and David are going to play a couple of songs. I mean, Michael. Michael. I'm going to play a couple of songs here. But Gareth Odenhall, I just want to mention that you have a studio over in Gatineau and you're welcoming people that want to do recording, correct? I am indeed, yeah. yeah it's you're called running that studio? Lala Studio. Lola, c'est Lola là-bas à Gatineau. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lola. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's uh, for singer-songwriters and, and literally and anybody. I like all kinds of music, but there tends to be folkies that come see me. <laughs> yeah, so get in touch with Gareth or Jack. And Gareth does amazing <laughs> sound at any and every event, yeah, gotta so say. Thanks, and thanks for doing that I do my best. Today. I hope you can hear me, because I'm not there listening to <laughs> make sure it's loud enough. <laughs> yeah. Hope so. And I just want to give a quick shout-out to Nathaniel Newton, who is our amazing film guy yeah. who gets our pretty faces up on YouTube so early in the morning and uh, actually it is Nathaniel. his birthday today so come on let, let us come on let us can you sing. guys do a little happy, happy birthday, birthday. Here, hello come on we can do it happy, happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Nathaniel happy birthday Check, check, check. <laughs> in harmony and everything. How nice. Okay, Mike Celia, you've got your guitar there. And Andrea Romolo, come on, this is all about you. Isn't this fun, Andrea? Have you been having fun in your Ottawa I am loving it. It's a very quick in and out, filled with lots of goodies, lots of friends, lots of music. 
And, uh, and here we are, bright and early. I With made you, a list. Chris. I, yeah, Andrea, I think you've done basically 10 things in 24 hours. <clears throat> and that's not even including eating a breakfast sandwich and my coffee, the delicious coffee that we had down the road. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's 11 things. I mean, <laughs> and your trip to Ottawa, a whirlwind trip, the concert last night, wasn't that fantastic? Oh, wow. Well, uh, yeah, thank you for coming for yeah. those of you that came. And, uh, and the venue is stunning. And how about my band? Am I not like the most fortunate person to get to play with two stellar solo artists and... It's just so fun to play music with my friends, and they're that good. You know, you heard them yourself, so. Super band. Yeah. yeah. Super band number two. Yeah. There we go. Everybody's agreeing, for what sure. Do you, what do you call that? The, the extra super band. Okay, <laughs> yeah. hey, you, you, you got uh, some songs for us here, so come on, let's, let's make lots of noise here for Andrea Ramola. Oh, thank you. Mike Celia, right here. Yes. Chris, you, you, you said the correct name twice in a row now. So I feel like we're on, we're on a roll. Yeah, redemption. Um, so happy to be back in Ottawa. So happy to be back on CKCU. Thanks for having me, my friends, today, and new friends, too. I'm going to play a song from um, two records ago called Quarantine Dream. Obviously, it was written during the pandemic, hence the title. Sort of gives it away. Uh, this song is about change, about leading with love and with our hearts, because um, these atrocities that continue to unfold in our world, um, you know, they're not getting any easier. It just feels like it's getting worse and worse. And so how can we actually make change? Well, it's, it's really through action and the action of love, because love is not a word. You can say, I love you, and you can, you can talk the talk, but it's really leading with action. Uh, so this is what this this song is about. Are you good, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I audibly tripped. <laughs> it's been hard losing sleep, making peace with it, watching fires burn our broken skies apart. And in the mornings I wake. With the fear of it Hoping that we get to wake up To start all over I can't sleep anymore We've seen bombs flying Mothers crying Babies dying We watch greed take over Everything we love Still we climb higher, hurt each other, blame our brothers I think that it's time to wake up, to wake up Because I can't sleep anymore There is so much to be fighting for This is my quarantine dream Through the pain of the last few centuries A quarantine dream Where everybody is free now And we lead with that fierce love That fierce love Sand is slipping through the hourglass There's no stopping it are getting shorter now and cold I can still remember when you kissed me last September It's those memories that keep me from getting old I can't sleep anymore There's so much beauty to be for. This is my quarantine dream You're here with me And we push through the pain Of the last few centuries A quarantine dream Where everybody is free now And we lead with that fierce love That fierce love
empty dream Will you hear with me? And we lead with that fierce love That fierce love Lead with that fierce love That fierce love Lead with that fierce love That fierce love Wow, Andrea Ramolo with Mike Celia. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, I got to say, oh, this mic's higher. Um, I remember, you know, crawling out of our little shelters to come and see that show in Toronto uh, in, was it 2021? I or can't even remember, but it was early days. just the early days when we just opened back up after the pandemic and yes. we were all just so raw and people were afraid, but we were dying for human connection. And I remember it was a beautiful night and you came all the way. It was, I was I so was grateful. I was in Toronto at, that, at the Phoenix Theater, I think, and it was such a beautiful show. And I think many of us in the audience were, were in tears at many times. Uh, it, was, it was so beautiful and a beautiful album. Uh, quarantine dream, Thank lovely. You. And um, talk to us about your new album and about the film that's, by the way, going to be screened at 12:30. I can smell the popcorn. Um, talk to us a little bit about this project, Andrea. Uh, absolutely. Well, it was um, luckily I was funded by the Canada Arts Council to go on a little voyage and explore my ancestral roots. Both of my parents were born in a medieval village in the mountains of south central Italy in a town called Limosano. And it's very closely connected to the region south of us called Puglia. And so I went down to Puglia because they had a very rich resurgence of uh, our folk music and dance. And I wanted to know um, about the history of that and where it came from. So I went down there, I met a bunch of locals, a bunch of elders, beautiful humans you will see in the film because there are still tickets available and you should all head over to the Mayfair Theater yeah. for a 12.30 p.m. screening. I'm not gonna give it all away, but I ended up making this gorgeous collaborative um, Italian record down there with this very cool band. They've become my brothers called Kalashima. And the good news is they are coming back on tour to Canada in August. Lovely. Yes. So we will definitely uh, stay tuned for where we're playing. Hopefully we'll get close mm, to I hope to you're Ottawa. close to Ottawa, yeah. 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 It, was a, it was a pretty profound experience. And uh, I really don't want to give it away because I'd love people to, to see the film. It, it's really the characters and their hearts and their mm. stories that make up this film. All I did was capture them, really. Um, but... I learned so much in the journey, and it was following the death of my grandmother, and we were very, very close. Uh, it's going to be her two-year anniversary of her passing um, April 9th, just in a wow. few days. Yeah. So it's kind of, this, this timing is monumental because I can always feel her um, in certain times of the year really visit me, and, uh, and she's definitely going to be with us in the theater, theater today. So I made this to honor my roots, and um, she taught me about who I am uh, as, a, as a woman, and I think she uh, opened a window for me as an artist to explore a voice that I own that I never really um, embraced in public before. Mm. So speaking my mother tongue and being able to tap into, you know, our ancestral drumming and learning what that feels like and sounds like. I didn't bring my, my tamburello, my hand drum. It's at home. It's very delicate. It's made of goat skin. Mm. But um, maybe next time. <laughs> right on. Thank you. So what will you play for us? Well, I feel like I'm not going to play an Italian song as much as I'd like to because <laughs> you're going to hear some music um, in the film. It follows the behind the scenes of making the record and such. And there's some great little musical montages. So, you know, you still have time. Get into your cars or take your bicycle because it's more environmentally friendly. Mm. And we'll meet you at 1230 at the Mayfair. Uh, and I think there will be a and a after the film, right? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Chris or you and Chris or somebody's going to ask me some interesting questions yeah. that I hope I'm prepared for. Yeah. Um, but I think I think I want to do a song actually, since my gorgeous and talented friend Jem is here, um, a duet song actually. That's mm. one of my newer releases. We released this together in I guess it's November, and um, Jem and I fell instantly in in love at a music camp at Universal Music Canada. And I could tell right away, I said, this person's spirit, I just, it just shines and, and I want to be in their life. And we ended up uh, co-writing this, this song. And well, this song is about love and, and, and finding somebody to keep you safe 
during an apocalyptic time, which is sort of accurate with what we're all witnessing and some people are actually living through right now. So this one is called Shimmering Chrome. Oh, yeah. I'm going to miss not having Jem on the piano, and uh, I'm sorry for those of you who didn't make the show, but these two are incredible. So when we come back, you better line up for that live show. <laughs> grass baby lay me down I've been craving cigarettes lately let's fool around I'll wear my blue dress your favorite necklace know you like it vintage honey don't you wanna hide In the city burning stone by stone Almost like it sparkles, honey Shimmering chrome Rumble in the background Kissing through the smoke cloud Know you like it dirty, darling Don't you wanna hurt Wow, Andrea Ramolo with Mike Celia and Jem. Lovely, lovely. Wow. I like that version, that stri oh, stripped down version. So beautiful. I just, I just looked over this way to look at Jem and I saw Bruce Lee in the balcony and I was a little thrown off for a moment. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> OMG Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you the music origin story? How, tell us about oh. early music, or music early in your life, how about that? Music early, well, um, my mother had a cassette tape of when I was in daycare at two years old, uh, and I was the star of the show. <laughs> I was overly <laughs> loud and obnoxious. And star just, of your own show. Yeah, in daycare, and uh, there was a recording, and we lost the cassette, but I was in a daycare with all these old hippies, and it was the coolest place to be, and I got to express myself, and that's when I, start, I started singing very young, but I think my musical training actually um, or, or inspiration came because I grew up as a dancer. So when I was four, I started taking dance lessons. And I, I learned how to express myself through music because yeah, I had to embody the rhythms of, you know, classical dance for ballet or, or jazz music for tap dancing, uh, gospel music for lyrical and contemporary and hip hop music, R&B, right? So, um, and then of course my dad's Italian music collection. Um, and then, like my two friends, in grade 10, I was in the school band, and I, I was nervous as heck, and I sang Stairway to Heaven. 
And yes. I never knew the rush of a standing ovation in that moment. Ah. I hit those high notes, and I didn't even know if I knew how to sing. I can't remember, but everyone in the whole student body, 200 people, screamed in the cafeteria and stood up, and I was like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Ah. <laughs> nice. Can I just point out that, Andrew, that you were in the Battle of the Vans, not just watching the Battle of the Vans? So that's, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool, it was pretty cool. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was a good time. And um, yeah, I actually started, you'll, in the documentary, it, it sort of gives a little bit of insight, but because I was a dancer and I was trying to be an actress, which has sort of come back into my life full circle after I left it behind, bought a tour van, a guitar, and lived in my van touring Canada, um, I didn't start gu playing guitar till I was quite, a bit older, I was 23, and my mom was diagnosed with her first bout of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, she's had three cancers, and she's a survivor of all three of them. So mm -hmm. I like to celebrate yeah. that. But she's the reason why I uh, play an instrument and why I started writing my own songs. It's all because of my mom. And you know what? Music is healing, and I still believe that to this day. We use music to get through life's challenges, the highs, the lows, and all the in-betweens. Yeah, right on. Wow. Um, well, please play us one more song. Okay, we're going to play. Do you wanna, what do you want to play, Mike? Does anyone have any requests? If I don't want to do it, I won't listen to you anyway. So, anyone? Do you like Hold Me? Can we do a little Hold Me? Okay, we'll do that one for you. This here is a song off of my double record, Nuda, which I released in 2017 after a very heavy breakup with a quite a well-known Canadian musician who was a lot older than me. My mother cried when I told him that we were, or told her we were dating. Um, I think she quickly learned that he did love me a lot, so that worked out eventually. And then it didn't work out like things do, like, um, who is explaining the, the tides coming and going, right? Opening and closing. This is, this is what happens. The beauty is, though, when you love people, they stay in, in you. They're part of your fiber and your bones and, and your blood and your dust and all of that. And so, yeah, this song I wrote in that breakup, um, right after, actually, my band, Scarlet Jane, decided to no longer play together as well. So this was a huge, very hard moment in my life. I was like... Naked, which is why the record is called Nuda, Naked. And I was like, who am I without all of these people beside me? How do I find my own voice again and stand up on my own? And so I ended up recording Nuda and the companion album with the same 10 songs done acoustically, just around my kitchen table style called Da Sola, which means by myself, on my own. Um, and we're gonna do a, not a Da Sola, but a, Una versione in due, which is a two-person two version now for you. This one is called Hold Me. Just 
Don't you think this is crazy That we got a little lazy and lost Greatest thing we ever know Like two paper dolls The wind tore apart Just a dream Thank you so much. Oh, we have a visitor. I love here, little animals. Here, for those of you watching on YouTube, here's a canine friend that is a fan of you, Andrea Romolo. Oh, I'm a Mike fan Celia, of the canine. Way to go, and Jem, nicely done. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank that you for beautiful. thank that you for bringing beautiful. that beautiful yeah. music here oh, from okay. Toronto and sharing it here at the Mayfair. Thanks on Canadian Spaces. Thank you so much. And Andrea, we'll be talking later, right? After your film at 12.30 here at the Mayfair, and we'll be having a little chat afterwards. Anne-Marie Berger, yeah. what are your thoughts at this point? Well, it's been a really good show. It's been great. It always is. I mean, it's always fun to be out in the community. And we were, uh, we were out uh, last Saturday at Irene's, and it was a big hit. And then you said, let's do it again. I said, no, Chris, let's not do it again. Stop that. <laughs> but, you know, you're right. It's, it's fun, and it's really fun to be here and to see, to see our audience. Yeah, because... It's those three little words that everybody loves to hear. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't say that too often, but yes, you were this time. Is that what you're saying, Henry? Uh, the next live show. We don't know. Well, <laughs> actually, we're really hoping, and I know Alison Bowie is enthusiastic about the idea of broadcasting not only Canadian Spaces, but also the next show, the Back 40, from the Ottawa Grassroots Festival on that would be a great idea. Saturday. April 27th. So is that it would possible? Be, I think that would be I, fun. I believe it is. We've done it yeah, in the past. I believe it is. And there is Allison. Allison is, is looking very positive. At this concept. And yeah. uh, Allison uh, did ask me if I could help uh, host uh, the grassroots daytime next uh, Saturday okay. on, on okay, 27th. Good, good, good. I'm happy to do that. So if I'll, if perhaps I'll be there at the live broadcast, which would all make sense. Hey, dear listeners, Space Cadets, if you're anywhere in the Ottawa area or could be around the end of April, a really, really, really good thing to do is to participate and become part of the Grassroots Festival team. You yes. will not be sorry if you do that. It's a, such a positive experience and one of those things where you're giving to the community and guess what, it's giving back to you at the same time. It is so, a fun way to volunteer and spend your time. I wanted to just, uh, a really quick announcement. Uh, one of our um, regular uh, al uh, musicians, uh, French-Canadian, Serge Monette, oh, oui. I think you know Serge. I do. 
He is releasing a new album. I believe it's called Le Diable dans le corps, which means I've got the devil in me. Um, at, tomorrow at the Rainbow, uh, Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. Is, uh, is the CD release show. I believe tickets are $8. And uh, I would encourage you, uh, if you like French Canadian, he, he sings in English as well as bilingual. So that uh, is my little announcement for today. Yeah, and congrats to Serge Manat for yeah. the, this. Is, he's released a number of other albums and he's yes. been on the music scene for a while now and doing yeah. lots of good work. So way to go, Serge. When I do Canadian Spaces, I like to add a little French segment because yeah. I am French. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see if I can uh, get him on the show anytime soon in the next few times that I'm on the program. Nice. Look, Ray Harris, you've got a guitar plugged in. I do, I think. And you've switched from being a host to a guest. Yes. <laughs> we like, we I like wear, to torture our people. I wear many hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of hats. And I, as I was saying, last night we heard you on Friday Night Truck Stop yeah. on CKCU. It's such a good yeah. show. You're so knowledgeable, Ray. It always impresses me. It's cool. Well, thank you. That's the illusion yeah. I project. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good illusion. 10 to midnight, Fridays. Yeah. Uh, and, CKCU. And while I was doing that, I was actually playing a show at the Atomic Rooster. The, the, same the beauty time. of the beauty you can of pre-recording. be in two places at once. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. All so right. everyone is tuned in to CKCU 93.1 FM here in Ottawa. You can listen to us online and you can listen on demand if you've missed part of the show or if you've missed any show. You can go to ckcufm.com and uh, listen uh, at your leisure. Yeah. And go back and watch the CKCU YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and you can see what's been going on here, or you can see right now, or later. Watch what you what's heard. going on, yeah, you can watch what you heard, yeah, good point. Okay, <laughs> Ray Harris, you're gonna take us out of the show with a couple of numbers here, and this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I have to follow Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna do a sing-along, okay? And then we're gonna do another sing-along, because uh, we can. Yeah, and uh, this is, um, I'll send this out to all those people up in Pontiac County. And uh, I related to some of them. It's called the Pontiac County Blues, and your, uh, your part will uh, be self-evident, okay? Ray Harris. Ray Harris. If the buyers are liars and the sellers are thieves, what's a poor boy like me to believe? Going to tell a little story now, some of it's true. We'll call it the Pontiac County Blues. Up in Pontiac County, got two acres of land. I know every tree like the back of my hand. Tar paper shack and a pit full of fire. A three-legged dog and a fence of barbed wire. I got a bone handle jackknife cause I like to whittle. The copper gin cause I like a little tipple. Double barrel shotgun, a bag of rock salt. If your britches are burning, it's your own damn fault. There's something in the water, something in the air Something moving in the trees might be a bear Something in my wind that just another goes There's something's about me nobody knows where I live that I drive a big truck but then it'd be a cliche and that's bad luck an old breezy and all covered in dirt couple broken springs and fender skirts yeah my motor runs hot my motor runs cold got a carburetor cause my motor she's old hard on gas and she burns a lot of oil half a million miles on Canadian soil Something in the water, something in the air Something moving in the trees might be a bear Something in my wind that just another ghost There's something's about me nobody knows Well, I've 
been to Vancouver and I've been to Cape Spear. Somehow I ended up right back here. Ladysmith Charteris Ragged Shoot Road, fishing in the blood of the old quail. It'll be 40 years this coming spring. I still see the pointing and the whispering. I'll spit in your floor because I'm an ignorant cuss. But I love that Pontiac County does. And there's something in the water, something in the air. Something moving in the trees might be a bear. Something in the wind is just another ghost. There's something about me nobody knows. If the buyers are liars and the sellers are thieves, I was a poor boy like me to believe. And now you heard my story and some of it was true. We called it the Pontiac County Blues. Yeah, we called it the Pontiac County Blues. Yeah, we called it the Pontiac County Blues. I want to. Thank you. We've got one more. We're going to get a bunch of the, uh, we're going to get uh, Mike, not uh, David. We're going to get Mike up here. Where's Katrina? Where's Christine? We're going to invite basically anybody who's a musician in the house to come up and sing along on this. Let's go. Okay, we need all the music. Where's, there we go. They're, they're coming now. They're rushing the stage. They're rushing the stage. I'd like to just a big thank you to everybody who performed today on this show, and uh, just want to say thank you before uh, we have that we may this may be our last song. I see that it's the uh, end of the show. Thank you everyone for listening and tuning in. Thank you everyone for being here in person. Huge thank you to Griffin who's uh, in the studio. Thanks for making this possible. Gareth Audenhole, Nathaniel Newton. Thank you very much for helping us with this live broadcast. And uh, all of us, all the hosts and all our artists, thank you very much for being part of this Canadian Spaces on CKCU-FM. Right. Come we're and leave see you... the movie at 1230. Of course. That's why we're all here. We're going to leave you a little Bob Dylan tune. He's not Canadian, but, you know, he's been to Canada. Glass so swift, the rain won't lift, the gate won't close, and the railings froze. Get your mind off the winter time, cause you ain't going nowhere. And ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Whoa, -ho, are we gonna fly down in my easy chair? I don't care how many letters they sent. The morning came and the morning went. Well, pick up your money and pack up your tent. Cause you ain't going nowhere. And ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Whoa, -ho, are we gonna fly down in my easy chair? Play something, Mike. A gun that shoots with tailgates, substitutes, and strap yourself to a tree with roots, cause you ain't going nowhere. Ooh, we ride me high, tomorrow's the day my 
bride's gonna come. Whoa, whoa. we gonna fly down in my easy chair. Now Genghis Khan, he could not keep out all those kings supplied with sleep. We'll climb that hill no matter how steep. Once we get up to it, and ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Whoa, -ho, are we gonna fly down in my easy chair? It's your turn. I said, ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Whoa, -ho, are we gonna fly down in my easy chair? Take us home, Katrina. Katrina, Jim, Mike, Celia. Oh, CKCU, Canadian Spaces. Are we still broadcasting? Or did we time that out just to down to the second? I think we faded out. Jeff. We faded out. Okay, there we go. That's the way to do it. Safe to pull it. Yeah, by 12.30. Yeah. So that's in half an hour. Yeah, so volunteers are very welcome to pack up. Yeah, if any volunteers want to help pack up and get us off the front here, that's...